In mathematics, the borsuk ulam theorem states that every continuous function from an n-sphere into Euclidean n-space maps some pair of antipodal points to the same point. Here, two points on a sphere are called antipodal if they are in exactly opposite directions from the sphere's center. Formally, if f s n R n display style f s caret n to math b r caret n is continuous. Then there exists an x element of s n display style x in s caret n such that f minus x equals f x display style f x equals f x the case n equals 1 display style n equals 1 can be illustrated by saying that there always exist a pair of opposite points on the Earth's equator with the same temperature. The same is true for any circle. This assumes the temperature varies continuously. The case n equals 2 display style n equals 2 is often illustrated by saying that at any moment, there is always a pair of antipodal points on the Earth's surface with equal temperatures and equal barometric pressures. The borsuk ulam theorem has several equivalent statements in terms of odd functions. Recall that S n is is the n sphere and b n display style b caret n is the n ball if g s n r n display style g s caret n to math b r caret n is a continuous odd function then there exists an x element of s n display style x in s caret n such that g x equals 0 display style g x equals 0 if g b n r n display style g b caret n to math b r caret n is a continuous function which is odd on s n minus 1 display style s caret n1 the boundary of b n display style b caret n then there exists an x element of b n display style x in b caret n such that g x equals 0 display style g x equals 0 topic history according to yuri matoshik 2003 p 25 the first historical mention of the statement of the borsuk ulam theorem appears in lia sternick and schnirelmann 1930 the first proof was given by Carol Borsik where the formulation of the problem was attributed to Stanislaw Ulam. 
Since then, many alternative proofs have been found by various authors, as collected by Steinlein 1985. Topic: <laughs> Equivalent statements. The following statements are equivalent to the borsuk ulam theorem. Topic: With odd functions. A function g display style g is called odd, aka antipodal or antipode preserving, if for every x display style x g minus x equals minus g x display style g x equals g x the borsuk ulam theorem is equivalent to the following statement, a continuous odd function from an n-sphere into Euclidean n-space has a zero. Proof If the theorem is correct, then it is specifically correct for odd functions, and for an odd function g minus x equals g x display style g x equals g x i f f g x equals 0 display style g x equals 0 hence every odd continuous function has a zero for every continuous function f display style f the following function is continuous and odd g x equals f x minus f minus x display style g x equals f x f x if every odd continuous function has a zero, then g display style g has a zero, and therefore f x equals f minus x display style f x equals f x. Hence the theorem is correct. Topic with retractions. Define a retraction as a function H S N S N minus one display style h s caret n to s caret n1 the borsuk ulam theorem is equivalent to the following claim there is no continuous odd retraction proof if the theorem is correct then every continuous odd function from s n display style s caret n must include 0 in its range However, zero s n minus one display style zero note an s caret n one. So there cannot be a continuous odd function whose range is s n minus one. Display style s caret n one. Conversely, if it is incorrect, then there is a continuous odd function g s n r 
n display style g s caret n to r caret n with no zeros then we can construct another odd function h s n s n minus 1 display style h s caret n to s caret n 1 by h x equals g x g x display style h x equals frac g x g x since g display style g has no zeros h display style h is well defined and continuous thus we have a continuous odd retraction topic proofs topic one dimensional case the one dimensional case can easily be proved using the intermediate value theorem ivt let g display style g be an odd real valued continuous function on a circle pick an arbitrary x display style x if g x equals 0 display style g x equals 0 then we are done otherwise without loss of generality g x greater than 0 display style g x greater than 0 but g minus x 0 display style g x hence by the ivt there is a point y display style y between x display style x and minus x display style x at which g y equals 0 display style g y equals 0 topic general case algebraic topology proof assume that h s n s n minus 1 display style h s caret n to s caret n 1 is an odd continuous function with n greater than 2 display style n greater than 2 the case n equals 1 display style n equals 1 is treated above the case n equals 2 display style n equals 2 can be handled using basic covering theory by passing to orbits under the antipodal action we then get an induced function h r p n r p n Minus one display style h math b r p caret n two math b r p caret n one, which induces an isomorphism on fundamental groups. By the Hurwitz theorem, the induced map on cohomology with f two. Display style math b f underscore two coefficients f two a a n plus one equals h r p n f 2 
h r p n minus 1 f 2 equals f 2 b b n Display style math b f underscore two a a carrot n plus one equals h carrot asterisk math b r p carrot n math b f underscore two left arrow h carrot asterisk math b r p carrot n one math b f underscore two equals math b f underscore two b b carrot n sends B display style B two a display style a, but then we get that B n equals zero display style B caret n equals zero is sent to a n does not equal 0 display style a caret n n e q 0 a contradiction one can also show the stronger statement that any odd map s n minus 1 s n minus one display style s caret n one to s caret n one has odd degree and then deduce the theorem from this result. Topic: General case, combinatorial proof. The borsuk ulam theorem can be proved from Tucker's lemma. Let G S N R N displaystyle G S caret N to Math B R caret N be a continuous odd function. Because G is continuous on a compact domain, it is uniformly continuous. Therefore, for every E greater than Zero. Display style epsilon greater than zero. There is a delta greater than zero. Display style delta greater than zero. Such that for every two points of S n display style S underscore n which are within delta display style delta of each other their images under g are within e display style epsilon of each other define a triangulation of s n display style s underscore n with edges of length at most Delta display style delta label each vertex v display style v of the triangulation with a label l v element of plus or minus one plus or minus two plus or minus n display style l v in pm1 pm2 l dots pmn in the following way the absolute value of the label is the index of the coordinate with the highest absolute value of g l v equals arg Max K 
G V K display style L V equals arg max underscore K G V underscore K the sign of the label is the sign of G so that L V equals S G N G V L V display style L V equals operator name S G N G V L V because G is odd, the labeling is also odd. L minus V equals minus L V display style L V equals L V. Hence, by Tucker's lemma, there are two adjacent vertices U V display style u v with opposite labels assume w l o g that the labels are l u equals 1 l v equals minus 1 Display style L U equals one L V equals minus one. By the definition of L, this means that in both G U Display style G U and G V Display style G V Coordinate number one is the largest coordinate in G U. Display style G U. This coordinate is positive while in G V. Display style G V. It is negative. By the construction of the triangulation, the distance between G U display style G U and G V display style G V is at most E display style epsilon so in particular G U 1 Minus G V one equals G U one plus G V one E display style G U underscore one G V underscore one equals G U underscore one plus G V underscore one L E Q Epsilon Since G U one Display style G U underscore one and G V one display style G V underscore one have opposite signs, and so G U one G V one E display style G U underscore one G V underscore one L E Q Epsilon. But since the largest coordinate of G U display style G U and G V display style G V 
is coordinate number 1 this means that g u k g v k E display style G U underscore K G V underscore K L E Q Epsilon for each one K N display style one L E Q K L E Q N so G U G V C N E display style G U G V L E Q C underscore N epsilon where C N display style C underscore N is some constant depending on N display style n and the norm display style cdot which you have chosen the above is true for every e display style epsilon hence there must be a point u in which g u equals 0 Display style g u equals zero. Topic Corollaries. No subset of R n display style math b r caret n is homeomorphic to S n display style s caret n the ham sandwich theorem for any compact set a1 and in r n display style math b r caret n we can always find a hyperplane dividing each of them into two subsets of equal measure Topic: Equivalent results. Above, we showed how to prove the Borsuk-Ulam theorem from Tucker's lemma. The converse is also true. It is possible to prove Tucker's lemma from the Borsuk-Ulam theorem. Therefore, these two theorems are equivalent. There are several fixed point theorems which come in three equivalent variants an algebraic topology variant, a combinatorial variant, and a set covering variant. Each variant can be proved separately using totally different arguments, but each variant can also be reduced to the other variants in its row. Additionally, each result in the top row can be deduced from the one below it in the same column. Topic: Generalizations. In the original theorem, the domain of the function f is the unit n sphere, the boundary of the unit n ball. In general, it is true also when the domain of F is the boundary of any open bounded symmetric subset of R n containing the origin here, symmetric means that if x is in the subset then x is also in the subset, consider the function A which maps a point to its antipodal point. A x equals minus x. Display style A x equals x. Note that A A x equals x. 
Display style a a x equals x. The original theorem claims that there is a point x in which f a x equals f x. Display style f a x equals f x. In general, this is true also for every function a for which a a x equals x. Display style a a x equals x. However, in general, this is not true for other functions a. Topic. See also Topological combinatorics Necklace splitting problem Kakutani's theorem geometry Imra Barani equals equals notes